you know, there's nothing that I can think of that's more of a family communal activity than sitting around a table. Um, and you know, you unless you're an expert, you can't open oysters too fast. So you gotta you you, you gotta kind of move along. You eat them and you talk, and so you, it, it gives you a lot, an opportunity to to have nice conversation as well as some good food to eat. makes a decent oyster? Well, the size, the quality, the quantity. Because we pick these clusters, we're not picking singles. If we was picking singles, we would just be looking for all that we can find. Our great oyster. A nice oyster. We will hit him over. Then that's a nice one. That's an okay one. That's an okay one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's what you want to see. They filter the water, so it's like if you buy a fish tank right now, you're gonna have to buy filters and to uh, put inside there to keep the water clean. Right. Oysters are that for the ocean. Like this one oyster right here will cycle about two and a half gallons every every hour. This shell has to open and close. It don't have to open real big. It can just open just enough to suck water in. You fishing? And you drop this hammer out your boat one day, and it's laying like that. Mm -hmm. He can't open. So when he can't open, he can't suck in no water. Right. So he's going to eventually die, because that's his job. This could have just been a recycled shell that all these oysters stuck to. Huh. Or possibly, this could have been an oyster that was on here. There's no way to tell that cycle unless, you know, you got to get into some deep science. But, <laughs> you know, I'm not no scientist, so I can't tell you that much. But was May and um, she was my dad's mother and after my dad was born uh, she divorced and remarried a wonderful fellow by the name of Jimmy Bowen who was a printer so during World War II they uh, were living on Filey Beach and they ran a restaurant over there which after the war my dad took over and they had bought Bowen's Island in the meantime and they Built a little modest would not be the right word for it, a little one bedroom wooden house and built a single concrete block building probably 30 feet wide by 60 feet long. People were asking her to do some cooking for them while they were fishing. We had lights on the dock and people could fish all night and so people would catch fish and they would ask her if, if she would be willing to cook the fish for them. So just, they started out with a little old timey residential range and cooked on that and, and they would set up saw horses and some tables. Uh, it was uh, pretty primitive. The theme of the James Beard ceremony was resurrecting or bringing back the restaurants of New Orleans. I got a very positive response 
uh, in acknowledging the contribution, uh, the necessity, the uh, worthiness of what people do to put good food locally on the table. And uh, our original oyster man was a guy named Ben Richardson. And it, Ben is a distant cousin of some of the guys over the years who have picked oysters for us as well. One I, I mentioned to you, Josiah Smalls. Another fellow named Nell Walker who has also passed along. Nell was my age. I think he was about five months older than I am. Victor Patrick Goat Lafayette. They call him Goat, but his name is Victor Patrick Lafayette. Henry, Henry Gillard who cooked for us for a good 15 or so years. And we got some good guys, some younger fellows. Got another fellow not quite as old as I am that, that still picking. So we're very fortunate to have good people that provide us with awfully good oysters on a regular basis. It was a very sad thing, but a couple of things. One is that the old building, the old restaurant, was a place that so many people had come into for so many years and was so familiar. And it was a place that I'd grown up in, and I just, uh, it was terribly bittersweet to move on from that. But uh, the old building, like many houses on the water, wasn't built to appreciate the beautiful landscape around, landscape around you, and so the new building allows you to really be able to see the beautiful river and the, and the creeks and the marsh and the islands and the sunset and, and in, a, in a very nice way, and you really, it's terrific to be able to see that, as I oftentimes tell people, if the, the food is almost always good, but if it's not, you got the prettiest sunset in the world. But, uh, uh,